In what appears to be a peaceful and colorful event, the main opposition People's Democratic Party is holding its national convention. But beyond the elections, the speeches here from the leader suggest that they are confident of a united party that will win the 2023 elections. The national convention is regarded as perhaps the most important moment to take tangible decisions that will affect a political party. This is highlighted by the chairman of the National Convention Committee in his welcome address as he reveals that 21 positions are to be filled, with most of them having consensus candidates. The choices before us have been made easier by the power of consensus, which is an integral part of our processes. That most of the positions have emerged with single contestants is not only a pointer to our bond of familyhood, but a demonstration of our entrenched democratic culture and strength, determined to soldier on in unison. The event is declared open by the acting national chairman, who is confident of victory at the polls come 2023. Today, we say that the new leadership of our party will emerge. And by the grace of Almighty God, leadership that will lead us to the victory come 2023 general elections. His belief in the strength of the party is shared by the chairman of the PP Governors Forum. There are people that are working to present us as weak and in disarray, but I'm happy to report that contrary to the naysayers, the PDP today is the strongest and most cohesive party in Nigeria. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and PDP leaders in the National Assembly point accusatory fingers at the ruling party, believing that the PDP would rescue Nigerians from what they describe as mass failure. The NPC has proven itself to be inadequate to be the nation. They have shown themselves to be corrupt, in fact, the most corrupt. Such and cohesive party that was never prepared to lead this country and never even had an idea of what it would be with a diverse, dynamic, multi-ethnic, and multi-religious country like Nigeria. This clueless government of APC is doing nothing but continue to find excuses and gloat as bandits take over our highways as Terrorists plunder our communities and innocent school children are used as bait and kidnapped for ransom within the corporate uh, uh, country of Nigeria. The party then adopts all the congresses held across the country as voting commences with over 3,500 registered members and is expected to run into Sunday. The People's Democratic Party is satisfied with the successful process so far and is hopeful that this would lead to victory at the polls in 2023. Terror, Ikumi, Channels Television News.